Hi, this is Josh with Scout Reviews. And I'm Travis. That is your chance to be rude. Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head. They'll tell you what to do in life instead. Of everything you know that you could get. Don't let them guide your life towards regret. I'll fight for what I love with every breath. My past is filled with things I won't forget. Use them all to push me to my best. Hey, welcome to Scout Reviews. I'm Josh. And unintentionally, you and I wore the same color shirt, kind of. And I'm Travis. <laughs> Good times today. Mm -hmm. um, I just had to point that out. I was like, wait a second. See, he's focused on shirts. I'm focused on this glorious thing we're about to drink. You've got this new thing called camera in front of me, and I can see myself. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> We're upgrading as time goes on. We got new shelves, you know, new cameras, new sound. Mm -hmm. So today, um, we are doing Knob Creek 18. On the topic of upgrades. Yeah, straight <laughs> up. Uh, this, you know, this is the 30th anniversary. It is a 30, the 30th anniversary of Knob Creek. They released the 18 year, 1992 to 2022. Wow, I'm older than them. That's fair. Okay. All right. So I have been waiting to try this for six months. Impatiently. I didn't own it until this past weekend. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I thought you were, you know. So I knew where it was. Mm -hmm. I knew where it was hanging out. Now, MSRP for this is $200. Yeah. You can find, I mean, <laughs> you can find them, you know, 500 Plus, I did not spend that much. Uh, I only spent $300 on it. I overpaid, but I haven't seen it anywhere else. So I didn't mind overspending a little bit to do a review and let all of you guys know. I like the bottle. It's a nice textured bottle. I don't know if you can really see it in the, the camera. Maybe that one will, actually. But it's nice and textured oh, and concave and everything. I mean, it kind of fit on the hip. No, sorry. Anyway. No. <laughs> Carry on. All right. So we're going to dig right into this. I'm going to let you have the honors and pour this one. This is going to be kind of a pain to pour. That's why I wanted you to have the honors. No. All right. So the first little little thing I'd like to complain about is the, uh, the cap itself. So it just popped right off. Yeah, it popped right off. Well, this is a problem. Go grab that. Oh boy. I think I just pushed it in further. So, sometimes corks snap. So we're going to see how this wine opener thing works. Otherwise, we're going to be digging this thing out with a spoon. And we're going to put this all on the, the camera, maybe. I can't believe I'm, we're still, we didn't cut. Ooh, it went in. Surprise! You're gonna need a cap for that now, unfortunately. We, we I have that. Okay. So. Not pre step it up. No, I'm just kidding. I'm so, kidding. for the <laughs> amount I paid for this bottle, the fact that the top just kind of snapped off, that's disappointing. But the whole point is the juice in the bottle. Knob Creek. I expect a knob on there. A knob? Mm hmm. It's fair. I can it see. Fair. You can see that. I'm glad you had that fancy tool. I mean, I've had to use less refined methods to break the bottles too. before. Well, I'm not going to set this on the edge. There's no cap on it. I broke um, a house key once. I broke a house key. It became, became a problem when I got home, by the way. I'll put it right here. But yeah, I've used a house key to open a bottle before. Oh, that is luscious. Whoa. And yes, that is the first time I've used luscious on camera. Is it though? No, I'm just kidding. I believe it that is. Actually. Yeah, I think it is. I immediately get leather. Like, wow. I like, get I get grassy, kind of a lemongrass, yeah. leather, wood, lemon peel, maybe burnt yes. orange rind. That's really nice. Vanilla. That's a very complex nose. Some cherry. Though. There's a lot to this. More than I'm qualified to say about. I mean, right away, I get some nice... So this is under the roof. This is a really nice oak... Nutmeg, lemon, orange peel. Yeah, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. A little vanilla. 
I mean, that's real. That's a I can sit here and just smell it. It smells amazing. That's that's one of the better noses we've had on a bottle. Yeah. Now I want to drink it really badly. I didn't think I'd opened it up yet. That's a powerful nose on this. Get a good. There's one. there's a lot there. Caramel, vanilla, all kinds of stuff. Strong. It's like the whole. Grassy. Take all the good notes that you can think of when it comes to bourbon and just throw it on there. That's kind of how I feel about it. It's opened up nicely, too. Yeah. Whew. Yeah. Okay, I'm ready to drink yeah, it. Yeah, I am, too. Hopefully right. the nose matches the palate. We talked about this. Cheers. Cheers. It's a lot of chocolate. It does kind of match the nose, though. Yeah, I get more vanilla on the nose. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Take another sip. I get a lot of vanilla on the, the palate, too. So it starts off the oh, citrus. Sweet. Super sweet. That's citrus, honey, burnt orange peel, caramelized orange, demerara sugar. Kind of, I'm sorry, I'm closing my eyes here to think because it really is a complex. Marciano cherries. That's what I'm there trying you go. to say. It's, it's a complex bourbon that really does deserve to have its tasting note defined here. Marciano cherries, chocolate Marciano. cigars. Good yeah, cigars. Really good cigars. Tapering into a long, sweet oh, it's still there. vanilla it's bourbon. So good. Brown sugar. Yeah. Honestly, that is remarkable. That is decadent. That is an event right there. That is uh, definitely not one. I mean, I would love to be able to drink that every night, but um, I couldn't drink this every night. Mm -hmm. This is too much there. Chocolate covered orange. Yeah, it's. I don't get the orange so much. I get a lot of the orange. I don't know why I'm getting so much orange on this. It's a good thing. It's a really good thing. I like this. This is. This is an event. This is a very special bottle. That is, dare I say. So we have the tears for tequila. Okay. So far. We have the Zafra 30 for rum. Okay. Okay. We don't really have anything for bourbon yet. We don't. We have a few that we like a lot. But we don't really have but like nothing I'd put on this that or... level except I'd put this on that level. I would put this on the level. I agree with you. I agree with you. Irish whiskey, we have the Red Breast 27. The Scotch, we have the Dewar's 32. Mm -hmm. I mean, this I put in that cat and those top levels. I 100% agree with you. So. There's a lot going on in that palette. Mm -hmm. That is that is excellent. I see you finish it. I did too. I did finish it. Absolutely. That is excellent. That is fancy, by the way. It's for wine bottles. Mm-hmm. I like that. But apparently bourbon bottles that don't want to play along. Hmm. So um, if you can get a pour of this. If you're at a bar or restaurant or something along those lines and you can get a pour of this, mm -hmm. I would advise getting a pour of it if you can. That way you can experience it. That's going to be all I have today. Agreed. So, all right. Well, I'm Josh. I'm Travis. It's been Scout Reviews. Bye-bye.